my eye. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> God damn it, Roddy done jumped on my big nigga. Say, I'm coming, Ross. Hold on. God damn it, I'm coming, Ross. Just, just, just hold on. I'm coming, Ross. Yo, this situation is going crazy. So right here, we have Justin White sliding for Rick Ross in Canada after Drake Goons jumped Ross in Canada, bruh. This situation is really going crazy because Justin White made a couple of posts on his IG page, bruh. He was actually heading to Canada. And you all can see the post. He posted it. Rainbow Bridge heading to Canada. You all can see your dad, bruh. And you all watch the video. And he said on the caption, I hate my nigga got problems in Canada. So I come to tap into them real underground railroad type of ninjas who don't like pink toes from Canada. Now, <laughs> bruh, Justin White is really, bruh, he's really taking shot at all the goons that jumped to Rouse. Now, the crazy situation about this whole stuff is that, you know, respect to Justin White, bruh, because Justin White's been decent, defending, and trying to ride and slide for Rouse. You remember that Rick Rose was having issues with his baby mama, and Justin White came up and took over that issue. Now, Rick Rose is having issues in Canada, with Drake Goons, man, putting hands on him. And Justin White is coming over to take over that battle. I mean, it's crazy, right? I mean, Ross never responded. Ross never came up to say, yeah, man, I love you for what you're doing for me and all that crazy stuff. Ross never said nothing. But you all know that Ross is not going to say anything in this situation because, you know, Ross knows the street code. He knows everything that is going on with Justin White because he knows that Justin White is the type of person that you don't want to be dealing with, right? He don't want to publicly come and support Justin White on social media and say, yeah, bro, I appreciate you for sliding for me and all that crazy stuff. You know, Rose is not going to do that. But I think privately that Rose is actually, you know, giving Justin White his flowers for always defending him, right? And we know Justin White in the street, bruh. This dude never cares about nothing. I mean, he's always going crazy with all this stuff, man. And he's not the type of person you want to be dealing with at the end of the day. But very big shout out to Justin White at the end of the day, bruh. And at this point, I think that, you know, Rick Ross should do better. I mean, you should do better, bruh. You should do better because, you know, you don't want to be out here having people pull hands on you and you'll be out here telling us it's cool you know you never get touched that you're posting all those pictures and all those videos letting us know that no one touched you and all that crazy stuff but at the end of the day man we see you being defeated in canada and you have to put some respect on people's name now you went to canada you went to drake's hometown and you decided to play not like us which is drake this track now do you ever think that you can go into someone's hometown and disrespect the person and go spot free. You can't do that. I mean, it's so wrong. Okay, it's so wrong for you to do that. You can't be disrespecting people in their hometown. That's why I keep on saying that, you know, if you ask me, I will say that Ray Cross deserve what happened to him. Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, he deserve what happened to him. At the end of the day, man, I think that he was so disrespectful to, you know, to Drake. Now, he took it the wrong way, right? Because we seen the, we seen the situation of Drake's house getting shut up and people shooting at Drake's house. Can you imagine how crazy that is? When Kendrick Lamar came up to expose the Drake, Drake house and where Drake is living, people started sliding and stuff started going crazy. That's what I told Uncle Luke. Listen up. You don't want to be calling out Drake for this situation. You have to be calling out Kendrick. You have to be calling out, calling out Rick Ross. And because all these people are frustrated all this situation, right? It's not only one person, okay? But at the end of the day, Justin White is doing what he does best, being on social media and sliding for Rick Ross. So I think now we you have to be known that Justin White is actually standing by Ross. I think Ross is giving him some money because, you know, Charleston is not the type of person that just come up on social media to do nothing for free. He's the type of person that, yeah, he believes in what he's doing. He's saying the truth, but he want to be making money off everything that he's doing on social media. So I respect him for that. 
get what i'm saying but it is what it is let me know what you all think smash the like button subscribe to the channel turn on notification bell so you get notified whenever i drop a new video and if you're feeling generous today you can send a super thanks to the channel or you can join the channel membership and i'll give you a very big shout out whenever i'm making my new videos thanks for watching and catch you guys later